Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you find out if CH2Br2 is a polar or non-polar molecule. It is a chemical formula for dipromomethane and to understand its polarity we first need to look at its lowest structure. So this is the lowest structure of CH2Br2 in which there is a single carbon atom forming bonds with two hydrogen atoms and two bromine atoms. Now this may seem as a symmetrical molecule and you might wonder that this could be a non-polar compound but hold on we have to check the electronegativities of the atoms over here and find out if the difference is zero, is more than 0 0.4 or lesser than 0 0.4 so when you calculate the electronegativities uh, difference of carbon and hydrogen it is quite negligible it is lower than a 0 0.4 because for hydrogen it is almost 2.20 and for um, carbon it is uh, 2.55 so it is lesser than 0 0.4 but when you compare the electronegativities of carbon and bromine carbon has an electronegativity of 2.55 and for bromine it is 2.96 so if you calculate this uh, difference it is slightly higher than 0 0.4 and as a result this bond between carbon and bromine is polar and this will hold true for this bond as well and there will be a dipole moment in this direction from carbon towards the bromine atom now if there were other bromine atoms in the place of hydrogen atoms this dipole moments have gotten cancelled out but as there are only two bromine atoms and they are not in the opposite directions they cannot cancel these dipole moments out and hence there is a non-zero net dipole moment in this molecule which makes dibromomethane a polar molecule so as there is a dipole moment in this molecule we are going to say and we are going to conclude that this molecule is a polar molecule i hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching